hello guys welcome back to talent tutorials in this tutorial what we will see we will try to connect to a mysql database and we will try to query a table and then we will populate the data so, so far we have used a delimited file only and now we are going to connect to a database so in this case if we are connecting to one database so which will be equivalent to all other so configuration remains same so let me first create a job here creating a standard job this connect connected already and this is my sample table id e name age and salary okay so i will go back to talent here now the job has been created and uh, let me get the t mysql input the step uh, component name and i drag down to my workspace here so if you work with uh, one database type so it is almost equivalent to all other connection settings here if you see we will see under databases the category will be databases if you see here there are many components you know each directory so if you work with one you will be able to configure all other components so a database connectivity will have all this mysql bulk code executor cdc close sql column list and basically to read the input and to load to output and there will be bulk code option also and a t mysql row say for example if you would like to exude any update statements or delete statement truncate statement you can use so this will not provide any output it will just execute queries whereas t mysql input will give you a result set and you can process it in your job so now before to this uh, if you see if you try to provide connection details here you have to edit it manually you have to edit it everything manually so for that you have an option right this is built in when you are using built in option then you will use otherwise there is an option for us go to metadata so in this metadata go to db connections so i have already created here you can see just right click here if you want to create a new connection so once you get that a new connection you will be able to provide your connection details let me edit this so you will get a name of the connection and then if you click on next you will see all this so login password server name port and your database instance everything you can provide here so once you provide this click finish this will be available to your job okay yes okay so here use existing connection okay you scroll up here wait if you see here repository so when you check this option repository yes you can browse it db connections mysql click ok so if you see all connections have been populated over here because we are not entering manually we are declaring here under db connections and then we are selecting property type repository so the repository will get all the uh, connection details from here metadata and similarly you know you have an option this is already been there because i have created query also so you have an option to give a right click here cancel this let me edit this yeah edit queries so here you have options and for me there is an employee query already available these are all stored queries okay and you can run here yeah you can display the data also here sample data here 
the data being displayed so i will delete first and then uh, let me show you how to add this delete yeah there are no queries you can see it is running in the background and uh, i've just removed the query so you can give a right click here you will see here here in the main connection sorry you should not uh, select here if you right click on the if you give a right click on the database connection name you see edit connection likewise edit queries read queries everything right so you can click on edit queries so here you can write query Give a query name. Okay. So sample query. So the same way you can come here, a repository, and once you get the repository, you can browse the options and select query. Right. And you can provide the schema. You have to provide the schema even schema also again built-in repository you can select so for time being i can edit here say four columns in my table id in age salary id in Let me try to run it. Let's see what will happen. I'm generating the MySQL component. Maybe column names are uh, differ from database. Maybe we make it error or yeah, still it is running because it's not considering. If you see the data has been retrieved from the MySQL. So this is how you can use mysql input you can connect to any database under database category and you can retrieve data from azure everything green plum oracle so this is it for this session so hope this helps you please do subscribe i'll be posting more videos on